Welcome back, another episode. The article contains spoiler alert. With the six-episode series marking the official end of Umbrella Academy's stint on Netflix, the season four finale was sure to be a tearjerker. However, many fans were left confused, angry, and unhappy with that ending for a number of reasons after becoming attached to the strange and amazing Hargreaves over the course of the previous few years. Though most viewers were disappointed with the show's ending, what does it actually mean for the limitless timelines, the Hargreaves children, and other characters? Now let's get started. In the fourth season, the Umbrella Umbrella Academy discovers that they have been resettled and have lost their abilities. The show jumps ahead six years to depict the distinct lifestyles that the Hargreaves have created for themselves. But when Jennifer appears, the group reunites to assist in her rescue. It turns out that Jennifer is the same Jennifer from the Jennifer incident that, in the Og Umbrella Academy timeline, resulted in Ben's death. For those who don't remember, the Hargreaves were assigned a job in the original timeline to locate and explode a dangerous weapon inside a container. However, when Ben discovered the container, he disregarded orders and instead opened it, removing Jennifer. Ben shot both Jennifer and himself right away because he disobeyed the rules of his adopted father, Sir Reginald Hargreaves. We find out that Jennifer has the particle element Durango, which is why Reginald didn't want them to interact with her. The marigold that gives the Hargreaves their powers mixes with Durango inadvertently to produce the cleanse, a cataclysmic event that has the potential to wipe out the entire world. This reaction was caused by Abigail, the wife of Reginald. Fair enough, Reg. Eek. Accordingly, when Sparrow Academy Ben uses Marigold to tamper with his adopted sibling's glasses, he not only restores their abilities but also sets off a series of further events that will have far-reaching effects. Ben and Jennifer become friends, and then the cleanse starts, transforming their bodies into one horrifying monster. However, before the Hargreaves give in to losing themselves in the cleanse, they send Claire, Allison's daughter, Diego, and Leela's three kids to the subway station below ground in order to go to the crossing point between the parallel universes. The best scenes from the show are shown in a montage as the cleanse gain control of the gang, and then it cuts to the one timeline where the characters from earlier seasons, including the handler and the rescued family members live. All of the Umbrella Academy members, Lutheran, Diego, Allison, Klaus, Five, Ben, Victor, and Leela are effectively honored in the post credit scene. In the park where the series concluded, eight flowering marigold flowers serve as a constant reminder of them, despite their passing. The showrunner, Steve Blackman, commented, Well, for starters, there's no graphic novel for what we would call season 4, and while our series is coming to a close, Gerard Way and Gabriel Barr are actually working on their next volume, and they have a pretty good roadmap of where the story is going for many years to come. When asked how the most recent season compares to the original comics, for more videos, subscribe.